In this lesson, we are going to learn a very interesting effect that is repeater. This effect is widely used in the world of motion graphic and it's able to create very complex and interesting animations. Its basic feature is to repeat shapes or compositions several times. So let's have a look on it. Let's first create a new shape layer. Just right click on timeline panel, go to new and choose shape layer. As we have seen it, it will create a blank shape layer. Let's add an ellipse to it. Now add a fill color. Let's change it to dark brown. So when we use repeater, it will always repeat and animate shapes around this anchor point. So it will be best practice to keep anchor point to the composition center always. Although we can adjust it later, but it will be helpful to avoid extra work. And when you have to modify size or position of the shape which you are repeating, always use these properties and its shape transformation properties. Never ever use layer properties. Otherwise, it will disturb whole effect because it will change shape's anchor point. So never use that. Now let's bring down its size to 60%. Come to first frame, add a keyframe to position, go to one second, and let's shift it to upper side. Select both keyframes and apply easy ease. Now use graph editor and make it slow on last keyframe. Take a preview of it. Make it some more slow on last keyframe. Let's preview it again. It's fine. Now we are going to repeat this animation several times. So just go to add and apply repeater. But before applying it, always select contents so that it will repeat whole shapes. Because if you have a number of shapes in one layer, and if you have selected an individual shape, it will repeat only that one. Other shapes will not be affected. In order to repeat all shapes, select contents, go to add and apply repeater. Now it will repeat this shape. And when you expand this repeater effect, you will have option to adjust number of copies. Currently it's set to 3, so we are getting 3 circles. If you scroll down, you will get transformation parameters for repeated shapes. By changing position, it will increase or decrease gap between repeated shapes on X and Y axis respectively. If we scale it, say up to 90%, it will not scale these uniformly. What it will do, it will scale one with respect of another. That means second copy will be 10 points less than the original one. Third copy will be 10 points less than the second one. And it goes on. And since its position is set to 102, it's also positioning this according to this anchor point. Let's again scale it up to 100. We can also rotate shapes. And again, it will rotate each shape with respect of the previous. But all shapes will be rotated around this anchor point. So if you want to rotate them in a circular path, just keep this position to zero on both axes. And now, all these will be arranged in a circular path if we have a number of copies. And for this, you have to do a little math. Like I have set rotation to 45 degrees, and we know that to complete a circular path, one has to move 360 degrees. So if we divide 360 by 45, we will get how many copies we will actually need to complete the circular path. I have already calculated it. So let's increase number of copies to 8. And now circles will be rotated 8 times with the respect of the previous one and will be arranged on a circular path. And if you play it, we will get this kind of animation. All copies will animate simultaneously. And whenever you want to change its size, you can do it by using its shape properties. Let me change it again. Scroll down. In repeater transformation parameters, we will also have these opacity options. As names make clear itself, by controlling these, we can control opacity of shapes. Just like scale and rotation, it will change opacity with respect of the previous one. But sometimes, when we use repeater and rotate shapes, shapes will not work perfectly. That means, when we try to rotate them in a circular path, we will get some problems in that. But we can fix that. Let me show you. First hide this layer, deselect it, 
take a rectangle tool and create a small one. Not very big because we are going to repeat it several times. Deselect it, take pan behind tool and put its anchor point to its center. Now I'm not going to position it to center of the composition, which means its anchor point will not be in the center of the composition. Let's offset it to upper side. And as I have told you, always use these shape properties or the shape transformation properties for animating it if you are going to use repeater. Let's move it. I'm not going to animate it to save my time. Now keep selected the shape layer or contents and apply repeater on it. Now expand the effect, increase number of copies to 8, go to transformation parameters, set position to 0 and rotate it to 45 degrees. It will rotate it in a circular path but you can see anchor point is not in center of the path and it may create some problems while animating it. All you need to do, just offset this anchor point a little bit and it will be fine. Now you can do whatever you want. If you want to change its position, all will animate from center, no problem at all. Now it's time to create some complex animation with repeater. So let me delete this layer and again turn on this one. As you have seen, we have already used repeater on it, but we can also use another repeater to it to repeat the first repeater. Didn't get that? Let me show you. First collapse all this, now apply one more repeater to it. Now it's repeating all shapes at the position of 100 points on X axis, which is set by default. Expand it and set number of copies to 2. Go to transformation parameters of repeater 2 and set position to 0. Now scale it down up to 80 points and it will reduce its size by 20 points with respect of the original one. It won't scale it shape by shape in this new copy because at this time it's repeating the first repeater. Now just to increase number of copies to 10. And it will repeat it something like this. Let's increase copies to 15 so that they will start from the center. To make it more interesting, just to reduce int opacity. Pretty well. Let's play it. Excellent. Let's try some more variations. Go to first frame. Set a key to scale. Now go to one second and set its value to 100. What exactly it's doing? It's not vanishing all other circles. It's just make them of same size so they all collapse on each other. Select both keyframes and apply interpolation to them. Now use graph editor and make it slow at the end of the animation. Let's check it. Good, but needs some more improvement. So go to first keyframe and scale it to 20. Check it again. Nice. You will find these types of animations a lot of times in motion videos. Now let me show you one more example of combining two effects. Take pen tool. I'm going to set fill to none, change the stroke color to dark brown and change its width to 10. Now let's draw a straight path in the center of the composition. Press apostrophe key to open safe areas. Now create the path. Press apostrophe key again to hide these areas. Go to first frame and I'm going to add repeater on it. Expand repeater effect and just like you did before, increase copies to 18. Set position to 0 and rotate it to 20 degree. Alright, if you see it on zoom view, you can see that there is a little space at the center. We need to hide this. So expand its shape properties, select path. Now you just need to move this start point towards the center and it will fill it. Let's increase its size a bit. It's sufficient. Now fit the screen. Collapse all. Now let's add one more effect that is trim path. Now by controlling start and end points, 
you can achieve cool animations. Set both values same to hide the path. Set keyframes on both values. Move forward to 10 frames. And set end value to 100 again. It will just create the path like this. Let's move this start keyframe. Move 10 more frames. And set the start value to 100. Let's play it. Awesome. Now just add interpolation to these keyframes. And use graph editor to make some variations to the animation. Let's preview it. If you want to scale it from center, just set end value to 0. Come over to this keyframe and set start value to 0. Now it will animate from center. So this is extremely powerful effect. In next lesson, we will learn how we can create custom background patterns using repeater.